Okay, I want to talk to you about adding historical USGS topographic maps to uh, ArcPro using free available resources. So this is helpful when you want to overlay project data on top of historical topos. Typically, you would go to the USGS and download their file, and if they had a geotiff, it might automatically georeference. But ArcGIS has a great online tool. Um, this is just describing the resource, but they also have an online tool where you can <clears throat> search for a location. For instance, I did Sacramento, California. And then if you click on an area, I'll get rid of these for now, click on an area, it'll scan and tell you all of the different um, maps available over time. And you can click on it and it'll, it'll show um, that map. And if you want to download, you can hit download. But all of this is already available within uh, the Art Pro environment. So if we navigate over to Art Pro, um, I have this historical topo maps layer turned on. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. We'll just add a new one. So to get that imagery server into Arc Pro, you can go to add data, add data to the map, choose uh, ArcGIS online here, and then just search for Esri USGS historical topo. And we want to navigate to uh, this one, which is an imagery layer hosted by Esri Historical. And it's not the mature support, it's the, the updated one. So we'll hit OK. It's going to add this raster layer to our project. And you'll notice first thing that shows up is this big time slider. And uh, also, if you notice at the top, a time tab opens up. So on that time tab, we can start uh, what, what period of time we want to start at. Let's just start in the 1800s, <clears throat> and we'll choose an end date. So it tells us that's however many days in between that period. And we want to progress through here. Uh, so we want to just see which maps are available. We can uh, progress yearly. Let's say every five years. And now if I hit play, it's going to actually walk through five years at a time um, and show me which topo maps show up in that region over time. It's a little laggy because you know we're loading imagery from online as we go. But you can see that was the 1922 map, 1927 map. If you find one that you're interested in, you can just hit pause and you'll have all that imagery from that time. If you only want a single one, you can decrease your, your slider and just progress through different periods and see which maps are available in those time frames. So let's get one that we want. Let that load. And now we have uh, a topographic map of Sacramento that we can add all of our project data onto, and it's just going to uh, update live, no problem. If you're looking for really historic stuff, obviously you can drag drag down and try to get see what some really old maps are available in this region. If you again had project data that you were trying to overlay. For historic maps. If you want to see all the maps that are available, uh, if you use your select button and just sort of select your region and open the attributes table here, you show us we have seven maps selected. We can scroll over to find um, the year and the map date. Survey year. So there's all kinds of information in the attributes table as well. But um, if you want to see all the maps that are available, you just need to open up that whole slider and redo your selection of your region. 
uh, you'll see that there are 27 maps of that area, um, historical topos available. Okay, that's just a really quick introduction and uh, hopefully will save a lot of time when you're trying to add data to historical topo maps. You will no longer have to uh, do any referencing, uh, georeferencing, or searching for maps in your region. You can just cycle through all of those.